Hello guys, uh, in this video I just wanted to do a quick update of my Siamese fighting fish tank. It's been up and running now for about six months, uh, which is crazy because when I look at it, I think the plants still look absolutely great, still look like they're thriving, and yeah, I'm really happy with how it's going. Uh, the cherry shrimp are still breeding like crazy. They seem to go through sort of stages where their numbers dwindle slightly, uh, and they're not reproducing that often uh, and then before you know it they're breeding a ton and there's loads of babies in the tank so their numbers seem to dip and then rise up again but uh still got a lot more cherry shrimp in there than i started off with so that's a success and my siamese fighting fish his name is alpha uh, he's doing great uh, he occasionally has the odd ripped fin which is something you have to look out for with siamese fighting fish um, they can tear their fins quite easily on sort of sharp objects in the tank but his fins aren't looking too bad and he's looking in otherwise in absolutely great condition perfect health and he's a happy guy um, I'm still seeing that he gets on perfectly well with the cherry shrimp I see no signs of aggression he's not hunting them down he's not chasing them he's not pestering them so he's been a perfect tank mate uh, for this aquascape also, I do have a few Amano shrimp that I moved from uh, an old 60 litre uh, aquascape into this one. And the Amano shrimp are getting along well uh, with all the other inhabitants of the tank. So, as you saw in the beginning of this video, uh, I maybe let the maintenance slide a little bit on this tank. Um, I was still doing some water changes, but I hadn't cleaned the algae off the glass in quite some time. Pro probably about a month or two to be honest um, and also I hadn't given this tank a trim in probably three months so as you saw at the beginning of the video the plants were looking rather overgrown uh, especially that crypt that was right in the front right in the middle here uh, for some reason that plant did absolutely phenomenally it uh, grew huge um, actually to the point where it was bigger than my background plants and although it was such a lovely specimen of a plant, uh, I really didn't want it where it was in the aquarium, so I've removed it. I also went ahead and trimmed the moss back, so you can see that really nice uh, centerpiece of dragon stone. And I just generally gave the tank a tidy up and about a 50% water change. And you'll notice that the CO2 kit that I did have set up in this tank is now been taken out uh, for the last four months I haven't been putting CO2 in this tank uh, just out of pure laziness to be honest um, you know with a job and trying to make these videos for you guys and you know lots of things going on I would keep I kept on forgetting to uh, refill the CO2 canister and I ended up looking at the tank recently and thinking well the plants are still doing absolutely fine let's have this as a low-tech setup uh, with just that fluval aqua sky light okay so that's actually a really good light i found and um, the plant growth has been great and uh, you control it via an app and yeah really enjoying uh, that light it's doing great so decided this tank is going to be a low-tech setup uh, with just a light and the occasional addition of liquid fertilizers uh, the fertilizer i use is this specialized nutrition fertilizer by tropica and on the back it just has the recommended dose i maybe go slightly over that dose just because of the sheer volume of plants i have in this relatively small tank um, and i haven't seen any adverse effects and yeah just really happy with it it's such a lovely thing to have on your desk and guys if you're sat there thinking about oh should i set up a little nano uh, aquascape planted tank on my desk 100 percent go for it um yeah, if you're working at your desk, desk a lot or just sat at your desk a lot at home, it's a great thing to have next to you. It's so interesting and it brings a piece of nature into your house and really helps sort of relieve stress and calm you down. And I think it really is beneficial. And it looks beautiful. Um, a lot of the time people come into my room, they love to go straight to this tank, have a really good look inside it, see what's going on. And they're amazed by these tiny shrimp and the beautiful Siamese fighting fish when he does decide to show up. See if he'll come to the front. There we go. Yeah, 
yeah, so <laughs> he's a, a lovely fish, really personable. Uh, people love to come see him and uh, check out the tank. And, um, you know, a lot of my friends who are also into aquascaping and fish tanks, into that hobby, um, they're really sort of blown away by, uh, I've managed to get Monte Carlo to carpet on this tank with, admittedly at some points in this tank's life lifespan, it has had some CO2, but uh, for the most part, I'd say it's very low CO2 and recently no CO2. And the Monte Carlo is still going strong. And, you know, carpeting plants is always something that a lot of people have and their minds are something that's, I know what, for, personally for me, it was something that I thought was almost unobtainable. But uh, really, if you put your mind to it and go with some of the easier uh, plant species, uh, I think Monte Carlo being one of them, uh, it really can do well with just great lighting and great fertilizers. Okay, so what I wanted to talk to you about you, talk to you about you, talk about with you guys next is, um, the fact that uh, I'm looking on my YouTube stats and I'm seeing some really great amount of views on my videos, but I think it's something like less than 5% of you guys are subscribed to my channel. So again, I uh, just wanted to mention if you really are enjoying my videos, please remember to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button so you get notified about my videos in the future. Okay, it really would mean a lot to me. And I hope you're enjoying my videos in general. I'm gonna try and keep up a good sort of routine of making these videos, putting new videos out. Uh, a project I have got uh, on the horizon, should be coming out soon, is um, I'm thinking of setting up a really small enclosed terrarium. Um, but let me know down in the comments what you think. I mean, is that something you want to see? I know this channel is uh, really an aquascaping fish tank channel. I know I have done things on bonsais and houseplants in the past. But uh, it's something that I'm deciding to give it a go. And if you want uh, me to make a video about it, I will definitely do that. That's what I'm thinking of doing. Um, yeah, so I mean, anything I think's pretty interesting. My guess is that a lot of you guys out there will also find it interesting. So um, yeah, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And um, also a reminder, I am on Instagram, Alistair underscore aquatic. So be sure to follow me there as well. And what I'll do now is just leave you with some nice, hopefully calming footage of this fish tank. And until next time, guys, it's bye for now. <laughs>